I've been sent a chair. Isn't that nice? It's in a big box. I do like a big box. This chair comes in a number of parts. And although I like chairs, I do not like assembling chairs. Here we can see all the parts. Thankfully the main parts of this chair are already assembled. I like this. It means fewer parts to assemble. The parts which still require assembly have this box. This box contains wheels, bolts and a handy fixing pack. Using parts from the fixing pack, I first need to put this part on the base of the chair. That was easy. Wheels are great. They allow us to move from A to B in an efficient manner. I enjoyed putting the wheels on the five prong chair base, which is made of metal for added robustness and smoothness. Here's a piston. That goes here. Then the chair goes on top. Now I just need to attach the back of the chair to the base of the chair. I can do that using these side bolts. That was easy. Mm, I like easy. I forgot to put these plastic handles on the underside levers. I've done that now. That's great. Here's the chair. Isn't it a great chair? <laughs> Right, cut this crap. So this is a chair sent to me by overclockers.co.uk. It's a noble chair, in all senses of the word noble. And this particular model features 100% foul leather. Faux. 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 Which is nice and feels incredibly high quality. When it comes to chairs, I'm actually a little obsessed. I mean, if you're going to sit on something for hours and hours each day, you need it to be decent. But I've never been able to afford anything that would be described as decent. At £299, I would describe this as a completely decent chair, especially after attaching the support pillows, which incidentally provide exceptional lumbar and neck support. One thing that's always annoyed me in cheaper chairs is that I want armrests, but usually I have to remove them because they won't fit under the desk. This chair is different. The armrests are just down enough for me to slip them right under the desk, which is very nice. Not only that, you can adjust the angle of the back as well as using the inbuilt tilt mechanism. Tilt? Tilt? Tilt mechanism. It's South African. And let me tell you, this is the comfiest desk chair I have ever used. I'm not just saying that because I was sent it for free either. It's like sitting in a bloody bed. It's a triumph of engineering. Whether this means I'll get more work done or less, I'll have to see. But in the meantime, I'm going to just sit, ponder and muse at the collective world of chairs. Chairs past, chairs present and chairs future. I'm also going to play Hellblade. So, off you trot, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see me build more chairs, well that probably won't happen because I like this chair. So, have a great evening, see you later.